Hi, I am Dory Azar, and in the video segment today, I am going to show you how to install the Calligraphy Quill framework. We're going to start by going to the Calligraphy GitHub page, which is under the URL that you see in here. So it's github.com slash calligraphy. And on that page, you will see different versions of the Calligraphy framework. The one we are concerned with today and the one I am going to show you how to install today is the Calligraphy Quill um, framework or the latest version of Calligraphy as of the date of this video. So by going to this page, of course, you're going to land on uh, on the code itself of the calligraphy framework, as well as on an exhaustive and an extensive documentation on how to get started with, uh, with the framework. I'm going to primarily focus on the quick installation of the calligraphy framework that I am going to go through with you. Of course, this video assumes that you already have a PHP uh, server, so a LAMP or a MAMP or XAMP um, server already installed on your, on your machine. So we are not going to go through uh, the process of, um, uh, of having a local server on your machine. We're going to assume that you already have it and that you have also Composer, which is the PHP packager, uh, already installed on your machine as well. Okay, because this is going to be key uh, in order to get the uh, the, cal the calligraphy framework uh, installed on your installed on your machine. For those of you who are new to calligraphy, calligraphy is fundamentally a PHP framework. So this is why it is important to have a PHP server locally on your machines, as well as all the necessary services to uh, be able to um, to uh, to download the dependencies. Um, that are needed. So let's go ahead and follow the instructions on how to do a quick installation. All right, and it's a really it's a two step process if everything goes uh, smoothly. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to first open my terminal. So I happen to be using a Mac. Okay, so this is my Mac terminal. If you have a Windows machine or if you have a Unix machine or any other operating system that you could extrapolate to, please make sure to get your command line, uh, your command line interface or your terminal. So now that I am in my uh, command line interface, so in the terminal, I am going to go ahead and copy this first command that, um, that, uh, that the documentation tells us about, and I will explain it in order for everybody to know what they're, uh, what they're doing. And where I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it from, um, from my server root, okay? Uh, and my server root happens to be under the folder sites, and that is really the folder where my uh, local server uh, is uh, is serving okay? Um, if I put it somewhere else, it will not uh, it will not be interpreted correctly. So it has to be in your HT docs or in your server root. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and paste uh, this uh, this um, this command that we got from uh, from the documentation itself, and I'm going to explain it explain it for you. So as you can see, it's calling the composer. Um, you know the composer command, uh, assuming that you have composer already already installed. And what this composer command does, it's called create project. It's gonna unpack uh, the calligraphy uh, the calligraphy quill in this particular case um, uh, uh, structure. So this for this entire set or this entire uh, folder that you have on GitHub, it's gonna bring it into uh, into the the. the the server root where you're uh, where you're choosing to download it, um, and it's going to unpack it for you along with all its dependencies. That's what the create project um, would uh, would would give you under the composer uh, under the composer application. Now the statement is suggesting that uh, to use a stable uh, version of the calligraphy quill. In this particular case, the stable version of calligraphy, uh, um, you know, at the time of this video, is the dev version of it all right so this is why we uh, append a dash s meaning stability so go get the stability that is the dev stability of the calligraphy slash calligraphy quill version okay now if i were to unpack or if i were to run the statement as is it is going to download it in in the calligraphy dash quill folder okay by default it would be this one uh, but I do want to do it in a, in a different folder just because I happen to have a calligraphy quill already uh, installed on my machine so I'm gonna go ahead and call it my test for the time being okay and what it's gonna do now is it's gonna get me this entire structure along with any dependencies needed and it's gonna download them locally under my sites folder so let's go ahead and do that you will see 
as I am uh, doing this, oh, I happen to have my test. I apologize for this. So let me go ahead and uh, choose another name for it. But this is, I think, a good example that would tell you what would happen if you try uh, to unpack it in an existing folder. Okay. So what I'm, I'm going to do here is I'm going to call it uh, my calligraphy. Okay. Just for the sake of uh, of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and run the statement. And as you can see, it's going to start downloading. First, it's going to start by downloading Calligraphy Quill itself. And you will see as soon as this is done, it's going to start installing and downloading all the dependencies, just like you can see right now. So it's installing all the dependencies. Now, uh, at the very end comes this uh, prompt, which is going to ask you um, to unpack using NPM, um, which is another package manager, but this time for Node.js therefore for JavaScript. Um, if you happen to have Node.js already installed, I will suggest that you um, that you uh, type a yes for this one because it's gonna start also unpacking any necessary, um, uh, you know, packager, uh, uh, packages that are needed in, in your Node.js in order to run uh, calligraphy successfully. If you don't have Node.js, it's not a big deal, just at least for the calligraphy, um, server-side portion uh, of this okay later on uh, if you want to use Vue.js with calligraphy you're going to need to have Node.js but if you don't intend to use Vue.js in particular with calligraphy then you will be fine and you just need to uh, enter no in this particular case I'm going to go ahead and say yes now the package have been added um, and installed and updated with uh, the necessary and uh, with the necessary packagers okay all right, so now that I have this done, ideally, if I now go to my calligraphy within my structure, okay, now I have in my calligraphy folder, and if I list the content of it, you will notice that the content is exactly the same than what you see on the GitHub right now. All right, so that was step one of the installation, all right? We uh, got the code, and the code is locally available to us. The second step in this um, uh, in this um, in this installation is to initialize the framework right so what this uh, is telling us over here in the statement is that I can use two different statements to do that they are uh, more or less the same it doesn't matter which one you pick I'm gonna go ahead and go for the dog bin one and I'm gonna call calligrapher calligrapher uh, is uh, the command line interface of calligraphy okay so it helps you scaffold certain code it helps you uh, you know create certain projects in a very uh, in, a ve in a very quick way it gives it gives you boilerplate code that you can start using immediately in this particular case, so I'm going to just press enter to show you what calligrapher is capable of doing. I'm not going to go through everything um, in, this, uh, in this video. I'm just going to concentrate on one, which is the initialize. But I do want you to see what other options calligrapher has. And in order to do that, all you need to do is just run the statement calligrapher without appending it with anything. And that, those are, uh, if you want, the methods or the functions or the features that calligraphy, that calligrapher comes, uh, com comes up with. Uh, comes up with it comes up with an initialize function which we're going to use in a while and I will um, you know detail it for you then and then it has some other uh, potential features such as generating keys generating API keys and then there's a whole set of features around creation of uh, of applications which we will see later on uh, when we start talking about Vue.js but also when we start talking about the machine learning features that are included with calligraphy so stay tuned on those we are going to use them a little later for the time being I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the initialize feature of calligrapher so I'm going to go do exactly the same thing but this time I'm going to enter or I'm going to type initialize and I'm going to run this statement what it's going to tell me over here is that it's going to go ahead and initialize the framework for us which means that any application that you happen to create before will be completely overwritten okay overridden so we're not worried right now about this because it's a fresh installation okay but uh, keep that in mind that when you start working with calligraphy when you start uh, creating or uh, customizing it to your uh, to your preference you will lose anything that you uh, that you have done so I'm going to go ahead and press return or enter in this one. And then ideally everything got initialized uh, initialized for us. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to do a listing just uh, to show you that some potentially some new folders and some new files have been added. But this is of course not ideal uh, to go in and look at it. So I'm going to open my uh, my, my Visual Studio 
in order for us uh, to go see a little bit what happened in this uh, in this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and I am uh, going to go uh, to my root folder. Okay, so my server root folder, and over here I have my calligraphy, which is the folder where uh, this entire structure got got installed and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to point out the changes that were made into the structure after I ran the initialize uh, feature. So what this initialize feature did to my structure and we can compare it again with the github code you will notice for example that the github code does not have a .env file okay it has a .env .example but it doesn't have a .env file and that's one thing that definitely the initialize uh, method or feature did for us and if I open this .env file it will contain all the configuration options that are needed to run calligraphy successfully okay um, you will also notice that there are some API keys and some app keys that have already been initialized uh, for us uh, for at least this instance of the calligraphy application Great. We will see more about this when we start, um, you know, using databases, when we start using some machine learning features where we need to integrate things together, uh, then the dot and file will become more and more, uh, more and more interesting. For the time being, all I want you to know is that this file got created as part of the initialization method. There are two other folders that got created for us uh, that are also key um, to, uh, to running the application appropriately. So one of them is the application uh, folder. Okay, the application folder got also created after we ran the statement initialize. Okay, and under this application folder, you will see the main folders, so the main MVC folders, so model view controllers that uh, calligraphy relies on in order to better structure the code of uh, the developer. So basically, all the classes that are responsible for the views will be under the views folder all the classes or all the methods that are um, responsible for uh, for interfacing with the database would be under the model uh, folder and all the classes that are responsible from fetching or acting on the database through the model and then delivering uh, the result to the views will be under the controller method okay uh, folder i apologize so those are the three main things that appeared from the moment we initialized the framework. There's a fourth folder or subfolder in here called config. And under this folder, there is a file called web.php that you can find under routing. And this file is responsible for all the routings that are needed for the framework to work properly. Okay, so what does routing mean? Uh, we will, we will, would mean we will explain that um, we will explain that a little later. What you need to know mainly about routing right now, this is the translation or the interpretation of everything that the user types in as a URL, okay? This is the explanation or this is the interpretation of how calligraphy would interpret the requests that are made by the users. And that's what we call route, okay? It's this ability of the framework to read the request and then to translate it into the appropriate sections of the code that could, um, you know, logically, um, uh, logically um, uh, use or logically uh, perform um, certain tasks uh, for, uh, for the user. Okay, so now by default and what comes out of the box, you can see that we have two routes already defined for us. There is one which is the just simply nothing, meaning there is nothing appended to the um, to the uh, to the to to the root uh, of um, of this folder, which happens to be my calligraphy, and I will show you in a while what that means. And then there's another one called hello world. So let's go ahead first and start um, um, and, and look at um, how what this route does for us. Okay. And typically, typically what this means is we're going to go to our local host, and in my case, by the way, so that everybody knows, my server is currently running. So ideally, if your server is not run yet please go ahead and do that before you actually uh, test out whether calligraphy got installed properly, all right? And typically, typically, you're gonna go to your local host and to the My Calligraphy folder, okay? And from the moment you type that, that ideally should give you what this route is giving you, which is in this particular case, returning some form of a view for us, 
and what the view and we will explain all this by the way later so don't worry much about the terminology that I'm uh, that I'm using uh, I'm just trying to explain to you a little bit where this route is going but don't focus much on how things are done just yet okay um, in subsequent videos we will explain them a little more so in this particular case it's returning a view which in this um, in this example happens to be called default slash index so let's see what this one does so I'm gonna go ahead and run it and we're gonna wait a little bit and this is what you get out of the box okay so it's returning a view so basically a UI that is uh, you know in this uh, in this example um, out of the box giving you access to documentation giving you access to the calligraphy channel where this video is and so on and so forth to the academy to how to join the community of other developers um, who are using calligraphy and so on and so forth okay the other route that is defined by default um, out, or out of the box is the hello world one okay so let's go ahead and append to this um, to this um, uh, to, the, to this root route a hello world just like um, this route is indicating and ideally what it's doing is it's echoing a hello world string which means echo by the way for those of you who are not very familiar with PHP is a way that or is the command that PHP uses or the statement that PHP uses or the method whichever way you want that would display a string on the screen all right so let's go ahead and do it and ideally things are okay it's gonna go ahead and display right on the page a hello world uh, a hello world string just like this one all right, so what we have done today is we uh, really installed, um, you know, the calligraphy framework. Of course, there's still a lot to unpack and everything that we've seen, but I want you uh, primarily to focus on the installation method itself and uh, on, on, on verifying that it got installed, uh, installed properly by going to the appropriate route. And at the end of the day, if you reach that, this, or if you reach this page, that means uh, calligraphy has been installed properly on your on your machine if you haven't for whatever reason and if the quick installation does not work for you there is a manual installation that is um, already uh, uh, provided in the documentation so I strongly advise you to go through this manual installation as well which by the way is not very uh, it, it does require you know several additional steps to do but it's also pretty straightforward and most of it could be done from your command line interface as well with that said thank you uh, and in the upcoming segments we are gonna see um, more and more of what calligraphy could do for you and how we can get you quickly to use calligraphy in the most efficient way have a good one